Hello folks, Bronco Bob here with Texas Best Used Motorcycles. Here today to show you a really cool, I love the body style, 1987 Chevrolet K5 Blazer. It's a four wheel drive. It's got a fresh set of BF Goodrich all-terrain tires. A new set of aluminum American Racing wheels. It's had the worn locking hub upgrade. It also has new Rough Country springs on the front and a set of shocks on all four corners. This Blazer is a survivor. The motor hasn't been rebuilt. It's got 118,000 miles. It's fuel injected and it blows cold air. It's really what I would call a survivor. It has been repainted. It's got one repaint. Of course, back to the original black. And the owner elected to leave off the side moldings, which gives it a real clean look. It also had seat covers on it for most of its life. So the original seats are actually in pretty darn good condition. It's got the uh, center console. There's a couple burn marks right here on the driver's seat. But overall for a 1987 original seat it looks pretty good. The door panels are in good shape. It has power windows. The dash is cracked and it has this carpet cover so if you really wanted to make this nice you'd replace the dash pad and also the fascia on the instruments is discolored it won't clean off and that's another thing you can probably buy that insert and put it on there it's a four-wheel drive manual four-wheel drive the radio has been changed out to a JVC Bluetooth system the back seat is in very good shape as is the carpet and this is one of the models where the hard top can be removed. But it's just a good looking truck. It sits good. The lift is about a two and a half inch lift. It's got some Flowmaster mufflers. You can see the paint on the inside of the tailgate is original. You can get a view of the uh, rear speakers, the rear seat, the carpet and all the trim. It has the fuel injection emblem on the back, but it runs and drives really pretty nice. I just love the, uh, the black. A lot of them are brown or tan or gold, but this one's really good looking in black. It's a Silverado, still got the Silverado emblem on the back. Look in the passenger side. It's got these sliding rear windows with the little wing windows that you can kind of block the airflow in the back for the passengers. You can see a few little rock chips here, a few little stone chips. The passenger door panels in good shape, power windows, power locks. And here's a look at the seat and the carpet. The carpet looks very nice. There's your shifter for the four-wheel drive control. And a view of the back seat, the little trim panel. The back seat doesn't look like it's hardly ever been used. It's got the original textured finish on the hard top and then the soft uh, headliner for the front. Looks like it's missing the lens for the uh, interior light. Let's kind of walk around the front. It's just a really, I call it a good driver quality paint job. As far as comparing it to factory paint, it's probably as good or better than they came from the factory because back in the 80s they had, especially in the Southgate California built trucks, they had water based paint and they came from the factory with quite a bit of orange peel. But this is a, a good looking paint job, certainly not a show quality like you'd see on a 69 Camaro, but very good for a truck. And considering this truck has survived many, many years and to be in this condition, 
it's really pretty amazing. You can see some wear and tear on the cruise lever. Uh, the steering column is good. We did put a new ignition switch, so it's got new keys. And you can hear the JVC radio is working. Good song. We'll walk around the back here. It does have a nice sounding exhaust. It's not too loud. The motor is stock. And as I mentioned, it's fuel injected. You got your Silverado emblem on this side. Just kind of want to walk around the truck and let you see it. Four wheel drive, automatic transmission. And the automatics in this era were the 700 R4, which has the overdrive. So basically you got a four speed automatic, which keeps your engine RPMs lower at cruising speed. A lot of the hot rod guys go to the 700 R4 just for that reason. They want a, something they can still drive down the freeway. I love the BF Goodrich tires. And the stance of this blazer is good. It, it has a good, a good aggressive look, but it's just not all lifted up and jacked up. It's just, just kind of just right. You could always lift it higher if you wanted to, put bigger tires if you want to, but it's really good like it is. It's got a power rear window, and it's got, it works with the key in the back, or there's a button on the center of the dash to raise the rear window. Your spare tire has a cover on it. And it looks like that when they painted it, they also painted the roof, because I don't remember the roofs having a glossy finish. I always kind of remembered a satin kind of finish. But there you have it, 1987 K5 Blazer. Finished in black, gray interior. It also has new ball joints and some new steering parts. And that was done by the previous owner. In fact, let's get in it. We'll run down the street here. The sun's not shining in our eyes. I've got the air conditioner running right now. She's blowing cold. Turn the radio down. Trying to get, uh, well, I'll worry about the seat belt in a minute. I want you to see it does run down the road. The exhaust has a good sound. It's not too loud, but it's good. An overdrive tranny makes it a, a joy when you're going down the highway. A local UPS driver. In fact, I'm gonna stop up here and we'll walk around it. The sun's out. Kind of get a, get a look in the sunshine. But yeah, if you're looking for a time machine blazer, or maybe you're you got a kid getting ready to get his license, and the only way you can justify a custom classic vehicle is to buy it for your kid, so the wife will go along with the with the program. It does work. Plus, you can teach your kid how to service, change oil, and main maintain the vehicle. Get one more walk around. But somebody's gonna get a nice Survivor Blazer. It's not a nut and bolt restoration, it's just more of a good old classic with a paint job and nice clean interior, fresh tires and wheels. Just ready to, ready to drive. And as I mentioned, if you wanted to take it to the next level, you could replace the dash applique and the pad on the top. Well, have a great day. Sorry this video is so long. I'm Bronco Bob wishing you happy trails.